It's like rolling, I'm just like recording, rolling. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, welcome to Mouthful with Marissa Pitts. Uh, please also take a moment to love, like, and subscribe. All right, now I'm working on my subscribership. Uh, just dropped this new show in October, first week of October of 2023. So I'll be coming into my second month. Um, so thank you everybody who has subscribed, who continues to listen. I got a lot of new things coming up. Uh, coming up in the next month and I'll have a little bit more time to really just jump in and keep giving you content. So thank you all. I appreciate you loving, liking, and subscribing. But today we have a wonderful guest. As I said, it is Mikey and Helen Farber. They are the lead singers of SoCal band Bad Ass from Riverside, California. Let's bring them in. Yes. Hello, hello. Hi. Hey. Yay. And I can hear you. I love it. I love it when technology actually works for us versus against us. <laughs> How are you two doing today? Pretty good. Pretty good. Good. It's good. Yeah. Start making off with you. <laughs> Did you say? I, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? I said we're starting the morning off with you. So yeah, it's oh. all right. <laughs> oh, okay. So a little late early or uh, late riser, should I say? I have been awake since five. <laughs> And, and happy birthday. Yeah, happy belated birthday. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I appreciate I appreciate all the love. And I really appreciate you two coming on. Um, I had you on back when it was had was and I was on the Chris Collins show and we were talking mm -hmm. about some of your music. And at that time, like you didn't really have a lot of the music videos going on. Uh, and I believe that you were in the actual studio, correct? Mm -hmm. Didn't you come yeah. to Long Beach? For the Chris Collins show? Yeah. Yeah, we came down to Long Beach, met up with you there. Yeah, so yeah. we weren't even, yeah, so I know when down in, in Long Beach when we were actually in the studio, um, we weren't able to play music videos and stuff. So I'm really excited with the with COVID. One of the great things that came mm. out of it is content to, you know, live content and I can show videos and have you on. And we don't even have to leave the comfort of our homes. So I'm at home too. <laughs> Congratulations on your show. I mean... It's awesome, man. Since October. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you are my seventh guest. Lucky seven. Well, as um, people don't know, um, Mikey and Helen and I, we go back way, 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 way back in the day um, on the streets, Hollywood Boulevard, running amok, having fun, right? And what's been really awesome for me to see for you two, right, is just the evolution of you two as individuals, as a married couple, right? And then also with your band and your music. You know, it's it's one of those things where everybody who goes to see Badass, and I'm just saying, I'm not, not just egoing you, but everybody who goes to see Badass always says the same thing. You are so much fun. You are fun yeah. to watch. You are That's fun you. to sing along to. I try to, we try to have a, a, a good time, you know, like, the, the feeling of like you know you you were growing up with me the feeling like we were young you know and we just i got stuck there <laughs> and i love it i mean it's it makes my heart joy to bring that feeling to other people also and i think i think there's a lot of um there's a lot of different feelings to punk rock right in the scene um in any music scene, honestly, and you listen to music that's going to um, fuel where you're at. And sometimes you want loud and angry. And sometimes you, you know, sometimes you want to have fun. Sometimes you mm -hmm. want to dance around and you don't want to be so serious. And so I, I think like with our band, we tend to have a lot of fun on stage together. We have a lot of fun off stage together. <laughs> yeah, you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of like heavier hitting more, you know, songs that kind of touch on on heavier topics. But in general, um, our band and the music we play and how we are on stage is kind of a reflection of um, who we are as people. You know what I mean? Like we want to have a yeah. good time. We, there, there we like some, to smile. <laughs> there are some sad songs, though, you know, because. Because life ain't always fun. Yeah, sometimes people, <laughs> sometimes people are sad heartbroken you know it there there's emotions songs that hit all the emotions you know but i yeah. would love to hear that new dolly parton album it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> i put it as well i was like ah it's out today 
Yeah. Um, and I think same thing with Dolly Parton. That one reason why I think people love her, they're loving you, is that ability to connect. So it's like a sing song, but like to connect from the heart. We talk about life, right? Not always being rosy, not always being fun. We've lost many, many friends um, throughout the years. Right? And I know yeah. that you two um, are sober. So congratulations. We were talking yeah. about Snoop Dogg and his new pack on sobriety. Um, I, and uh, it is like it you it's survival you know you you get through that part of your life and you don't want that book to end so you just start a new chapter and you know with that sobriety it's hard because when you're when addiction sets in and you have it's most of your life it that's pretty much what you know you know what i mean so you kind of have to like start over or something, you know, and it is hard. It's hard to get through that. And some well, people I, like you and me know some people don't get through it. No. And I think what's great, like addiction, as I say, and I've had quite actually quite a few guests and artists coming on who are sober. And one of the things that I always think about is, you know, the addiction itself doesn't go away, but what are you being addicted to? Right. And mm -hmm. ever since your, your path with sobriety, and really coming in, um, badass took off. Yeah, I mean, well, before you guys were kind of like, you know, I mean, think about it, right? It was an up and down. It was a backyard show with this show, right? And then all of a sudden, like, like, it, got sober. like, it, like a we're like a wave. Well, well badass, <laughs> badass didn't start till you know we put down the bottle. Yeah, that's when. But you started. were playing with, but you were playing with songs before that. Yeah, we, we were, had other bands before. We were that. in that band called the Nuckas. Which was like a Three Stooges band or mm -hmm. Knuckleheads, whatever you want to call it. And then before that, we were the Clam Hammer. I remember the Clam Hammer. Yeah, and that was good. I, I, I've done it. <laughs> My favorite, though, is when we met, um, you had the Vaginites. The Vaginites, yeah. <laughs> they, I miss selling were, a vaginitis, y'all. They, <laughs> they were, we were young. How, how, yeah. <laughs> Yep, that um, was, what year was that? What year was that? 97? 95, 95, 95, not even 95. 95. Yeah. I think. Wow. Well, hey, it was, it was because <laughs> I just, I just aged all of us, by the way. I'm like, 95, <laughs> five, right? I'm yeah. Glad I mean, I five. I'm glad yeah. I saved. I'm glad I saved. We actually look amazing for our ages. I, yeah. I will say that. Um, but going right. back onto your badass, your album dropped in 2019 on here. Um, right. And one of the songs that I actually got to partake in on a music video was um, Kitty Better Run. Mm, that's a and fun. Mm. It's a fun song. So it what is. was the inspiration behind this song? I'll, I'll let her, you know, talk I, it short and sweet because I know we've said it a lot, but that was all Becca. That was our um, our original bassist. Um, and she wrote that song. Um, it was probably like 2000. 12 2011 2012 i don't know she brought that song to the table she had a bunch of cats i mean it's really it's cut and dry it's exactly about what it sounds like it's about there's no <laughs> love it no under no hidden meeting <laughs> no, no. it's, like, it, it's it, about it, cats it reminds me of a it's it reminds me of like teenage mutant ninja turtle song oh know? yeah it that, does actually it does that, like, <laughs> that kind of feeling you know about you know goofy goofy young Kind yeah. of nerdy, cheesy, good stuff, you know? <laughs> it's fun. All right, well, let's go ahead and we're going to play Kitty Better Run here. This is uh, Mikey and Helen Farber with SoCal ba uh, punk band Bad Ass. And this is their single, Kitty Better Run.
right, Troll, get tired. Yeah, get tired right now. <laughs> now give up. <laughs> so funny. Remember how hot it was that day? I do. It was your, do your listeners know that you were in fact the cat in that film? Um, I know. They do now. They do now. I was the kitty cat. Um, and it was this like latex hot outfit. And I was like most cardio. I think I'd done it a long time. I mean, I do cardio now, but I wasn't doing cardio then. It was so hot. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a long time. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. That, that brought back some good memories. Huh? Yeah, it was fun. And then, you know, and also the show that night, filming on the show, you had played, um, I mean, we had Corey Axel on before, and his old band BDSM was playing that night. Um, Screaming Chicken. That was a fun show. Yeah. Screaming Chicken. That's right. Yeah. San Bernardino. John <laughs> Bar. Yeah. Jeez, that place had stories. It didn't was it? from dusk till dawn. Yeah. Or yeah. I think day to day because people I never sleep there. No, no. It was a, yeah. It was, it was a cool place. Good memories and stuff. And that's what I love so much about your music videos is you all tend to use a lot of your friends. You use. Well, the people around you um, from the scene. And I think it just helps promote and build, you know, the idea about the community within punk rock, right? Within also just fellow musicians. Well, that, that video. Yeah. And you, you're, you're totally right about that. And it's good to have your friends around, you know, it's, it's, it's cheaper, you know, Our, uh, <laughs> but <than> hiring also, <laughs> actors. <laughs> also that, that, um, plus like, you know, a lot, a lot of my friends there are, they are artistic. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's, they like it. And, um, the ones that are still hanging around and, um, that was the first video that, that we made actually, you know, I think we have like eight now and, um, yeah. working, I'm working on some new stuff. The thing is, I I think we would like to try to make a music video for every song we have. Yeah. I think you should. I actually um there's um a few artists I know um are doing that now. Well, yeah, kind of like why not? Because their access to make music videos is so much cheaper now. It's true. Oh, you could do it on your phone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you don't even need a video camera anymore. It's so everything's so accessible right now yeah. it's like at our fingertips it's kind of crazy you know it's good yeah and, and maybe we can make a, a a video for every song and then just make badass <clears throat> the movie <laughs> yes no no and and no an artist do that um uh janelle monet she did a a music video for every single song in her album and turned it into a movie it's brilliant hey maybe we'll be famous when we're dead well, <laughs> when you're dead. Well, hopefully before that. No. <laughs> Why people are going to suddenly take an interest in our music, whether it's to bash it or praise it, we will be. But, you know, I, I wanted to touch on that, what you said, like about I'm um, including our friends in it. And those are, are my favorite uh, videos and stuff are the ones that we get to include our friends in, not just, I mean, friends. And then, like you said, other friends that are musicians and in bands as well, because I think that's such a um, it's such an important um, aspect of yeah. of the punk rock scene in general. The community, like you said, the friendships, the bonds, the support. You know, of not just not just you know us, you know, wanting to support ourselves, but of course, I mean, you support your own band, but yeah. to support others um, in the scene and to encourage others and to um, uplift others when they're doing good. Do you know what I mean? Um, and to give the recognition because, you know, when you're in a band, it's it's hard work and you get you get a lot of good and you get a lot of bad. You get a lot of the people that hate you and then you get a lot of the people that there are a lot of haters. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's in that's life. That's human beings. You know what I mean? Yeah. But in general, you get a lot of people um, that encourage you. And and, you know, I know at least for us as a band, that's where we want to be. We want to be the band and the friends that can come alongside other people and and say that's awesome you guys are doing good and that's that's yeah. great and we love this and we want to include people in our videos as well because it it is funner and we get to look back at it and see our friends you know 20 years from now you know we can look back yeah. at these videos and be like oh my god remember when marissa was running around in 90s 
you. Like that was. I, I like. I love the punk rock scene. <laughs> I love the punk rock scene because it, it's for the underdogs. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like it's a place for that where underdogs go, where I, everyone's underdog at one time in their life. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, nobody, nobody starts off into any scene, you know, with confidence. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, it's it. There definitely needs to be a um, uh, an acceptance and kind of a an welcoming people with open arms. Yeah, because punk rock accepts everything finger. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, it, and it, I think it's <clears throat> myself. You know, and I, and I have a great relationship with my family, right? So I I did not come from um, horrible circumstances like a lot of our friends did, who found mm -hmm. themselves in the streets. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. They had to leave to survive. Right. Like, like literally saved their life. Um, I left a party. <laughs> I was like, please, right. Um, much, you know. but, it, but I think why the reason why I, I was partying at such a young age, why I was, you know, I was doing drugs at 11, um, you know, started having sex at 12. I mean, things that I'm not proud of, that I don't want my daughter to follow my footsteps. Right. But I, mm. I feel like I was always searching for something that was missing in my family. Like I, I feel like a black sheep. I mm. feel yeah. I don't belong. And it was yeah. out of step. And then when I met, like I met Mikey, I met, right. I met that whole Hollywood punk scene. It was the first time I felt like I didn't have to pretend. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't have to be anybody, but just me. Yeah. Right. And, and I, and, and these are friendships we still have with the yep. people who have survived in our life. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, 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 so I see it like a, like a family, like a unit and there is dysfunction. <laughs> Yeah, one way or another. Throw some, <laughs> throw, throw, some, throw some drugs and alcohol in there, and yes. Throw. And then you got real dysfunction. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. Most most of everybody I know from those days uh, are <clears throat> sober or almost fully sober, right? Yeah. For the yeah. most part, because life, we we partied hard, right? I'm, I'm good. I <laughs> I I have to I have to remember it every day, you know, because it it all that alcohol turned me diabetic, and you know yeah. that. So mm -hmm. like, you know, every day there's a thorn in my belly, um, but it's just a reminder and a reminder of what I got now and what I have now is beautiful. You know, I have yes. my wife, she's beautiful. My son, little Treble, awesome. who's friends with your daughter, mm -hmm. which I need to get together soon. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm working less coming up. So I'm very That's excited. Cool. I, I saw that. That's why I've been reaching out more. <laughs> yeah. I have time. Um, but talking about time, um, it does take a lot of time to throw your hair up, right? It does, it does not, and you know it. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> hey, it was a good line. It, it was a good time. line, Helen. <laughs> it takes time. Not that much time. I understand the segue, though. I see what you're doing. You like my segue? Did you like that? I doing. built that all in she's, on the fly. She's a pro. She's a pro. <laughs> I've been doing yeah. it for a long time. <laughs> it's true. When you yeah. do it, once you do it long enough, uh, it is pretty quick. Uh, but if not, you could, depending on how long your hair is, too, it can take ultra long to throw your hair up. I feel, uh, I feel like the, the designated length is determined by the car. Like if I have to start driving like this, <laughs> then it's time to cut the hair. Because I'm, I can't do that. I can't drive like this. I mean, it's I could, really funny. but I probably hit things, uh, run over people, you know. And that's never good for your insurance policy. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm not run over either, but you know. Yeah. Uh, well, they have a song. It's called "Throw Up Your Hair." Um, and what was the inspiration for this song? Other than driving with your head to the side. <laughs> probably, probably just you know, like having. I mean, I. I've had my Mohawks for a very long time, even before I met you, mm -hmm. which was, I don't know, you, you're better at math than me. Long so, time ago. Yeah, are, we, are, well, we, are we aging ourselves again? We, we, uh, we aged. We aged ourselves. Uh, <laughs> well, just, you know, always putting up your hair and, you know, kind of like we always were, we'd always be all, oh, let's go throw up our hair throw real quick. Hair. Let's put, you know, mm -hmm. let's go. After I throw up my hair, you know, we'll be there. And so we just. It it's kinda... a, it's another goofy, lighthearted song. I know some people, yeah. <laughs> we've gotten grief for it from some, but it's like, it's kind of just one of those, like, have fun, throw up your hair, you know, like. What grief were you getting? Because 
it's a fun song. Like, I don't understand people taking it serious. You know, you have a lot of the, um, the mentality of, you get it both ways. You get, you get the extreme being like, you're not punk rock unless you have this hair and that many studs. And then you got this side being like, you're not punk rock because you put up your hair and your fashion, punk. you know, it's, Mm, yeah, it yeah. Like it's, not, it's not really one or the other. It's like just have fun with it. I mean, obviously, do whatever you want with There's your hair. There's been people that call us posers, yeah. you know, yeah. but like everyone's a poser, you know. How Honestly, you, when you've yeah. been and and when you've been doing this as long as we have, it's kind of just like you shrug it off. You're like, that's cool. It's one of those things. Yeah. If you don't like it, don't listen to it. Another, it's okay. another yes, not you to listen to it. All right, another, like another unless, unless they're listening to my show, and now I'm going to force them to listen to it. <laughs> They could so turn you off. I would Don't never say that. Turn you. Don't say that. They're not allowed to. Once they click in, they have to stay. <laughs> this is true. But yeah, no, it's, uh, I mean, obviously as much grief as everybody probably gets once in a blue moon, but it's a fun song. Yeah. We had a lot of fun doing the video. Uh, mm -hmm. Mikey had the idea. Let's bring the video camera out with us to Vegas and let's just film Punk as Rock much, Bowling. as much hair as we yeah. can, you know, and yeah. you know what? We had a lot of fun with it and we met a lot of people. Um, and we, you know, um, reconnected with a lot of people. I, it was fun. I mean, geez, man, if you that, can't have fun with it, like, I think that, exactly. so, I think that, that video has the most likes out of every one of the videos that, and I can see why, cause it really is a fun, it, you feel the fun coming out of it. The people filming it, like all of that. It didn't look like you were filming in 90, 105 degree weather. <laughs> Right, <laughs> it's just no. like, like with Kitty. Kitty uh, better run. Is like I'm, I'm crying my makeup off. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it was like you're a cat. You're crying because dogs. Are I was like, don't get me, don't get me. And the hoodlums. I mean, trolls and Jay and I. I mean, hoodlums. Yeah. Eyeball. <laughs> Eyeball. Eyeball lasagna. You even have that's right. Face and after you, man. You got close to catching me. That's All right. Well, this is um, "Throw Up Your Hair" by Badass um, debut album. So stay tuned and check it out.
hair, they will come. If we spike our hair, we'll be one. If we spike our hair, we'll have fun. And we won't run from anyone. And just an all around fun, fun, fun song. Oh um, I know you have a lot of merch coming um, that you have. You obviously, you had your patches. And then you do use La Kazoo in your songs, right? Yeah, a couple songs with it. Yes. Um, and I had this idea. Why are you not making merch kazoos? Mm. I'm not going to lie. I've looked into it. I mm -hmm. just, I, I, I would probably have to DIY it because any type of like personalized kazoo like if i were to buy like in bulk like kazoos mm -hmm. that said badass um it's pretty pricey and if i'm selling kazoos i want to be able to sell them cheap cheap so they can use them for your songs <laughs> yeah, kazoo thought, army. I, yeah, mm. I thought i thought about um just getting kazoos and just writing badass on them but then even so like if i do a permanent marker or like acrylic it's just gonna like scratch off so what about a sticker it could be good. that sorry i i really want a badass kazoo I just, it was on my list <laughs> that's a very simple solution that i'm not gonna lie i didn't think of i want i want more yeah. booty shorts like you my Hi. badass booty shorts i want badass booty shorts i oh, need yeah. to get more booty shorts made again i um i know our screen printers don't carry the booty shorts so i have to Go out and order those, the booty shorts. Those, those, I would, those I would pay 20 bucks for. Those went quick. Really? Yeah. They did go quick. They did they go and, real quick. So you can raise your prices on booty shorts. And the big guy shirts. A lot of lot of big guys like. Booty shorts. The badass shirts. <laughs> they like to wear. Oh, the shirts or the shorts? <laughs> Send us your pictures now. <laughs> I love it. The next music video I can already see. Just large about, men wearing badass about, booty shorts. Badass booty shorts. Yeah. Why not? Badass bra. Yeah. It, I no mean, one ever does a bra. I never. Heard well, of you could do a bra shirt, but like you got to be able to see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. Well, and, I mean, and then women, we just we have different bras we like, different style. There's uh, the well, booty shorts. Don't ruin, don't ruin bra, it. Like a I know. Sport. Yeah, and this is why women are saying no. <clears throat> yeah, women are like, mm, we're good on that one. Um, but as we continue on, uh, we talk about merch, right? You guys just played Crash Fest. How yeah. was that? It's such a great. I I love I love going up north. Um, I love I, I love Crash Fest. Crash Fest is is the best bet. One of the best fests on the on the West Coast, and it's up and coming. It's in Portland, Oregon, so it gets still all pretty new. The West. It's a new. It's still new, pretty new, but the but it's um, rising, and it. I love playing it. It it was so amazing. It always is. The boys that put it on, Mike and Chris, are really such good people. Oh yeah. And yeah. I know the whole crew, <laughs> the whole crew over there. So, Crash crew is yes, so awesome. They're man. such good people. And that I mean, honestly, you're right. I can't just shout out, you know, Chris and Mike anymore. I, you almost have to just shout out the entire Crash crew because they're all so um accommodating George, and yeah. grateful to have the bands that Art. come out and mm. I I know sometimes there there are still kinks with it that they're still trying to get figured out but I mean it's hard general, it that's is. hard man I, they do. I don't envy them I don't envy I don't if I ever put on a fest I would probably fail miserably but they they do such a good job and they're such good people and I I think we'll probably continue to support that fest for sure forever so you know, it's, they're so good it is like uh, <clears throat> all the way punk rock Fest because it, it gets all the uh, great bands from the UK mm -hmm. over there because they got half the connection in the UK and then all the bands over here in America. And then they not only do that, they bring in bands that not many people have heard of, like So it's us. like introducing you to new music So as it's well, introducing which is you. Which awesome. Yeah. Which I'm huge about. Huge. Oh, yeah. I love my sing-alongs. I love my old songs, right? But I'm also like the old songs. 
the old songs are great because the feelings there and we grew up with them but the new stuff is the newer generation is getting you know the best of the old world and the new world it's true which is yeah new stuff is as good as old stuff mm -hmm. you, know, you, can, it, you can't you, know. Oh, you know you can't diss something just because it's, it's new, newer yeah. because there's yeah. still a lot of you know up and coming bands and newer bands that are like stinking amazing you mm -hmm. know what i mean and i think there's a lot of fests that happen obviously over the states and there's some great um there's some great ones that happen on the west coast but definitely up in the um pacific northwest area for sure yeah. um i i mean crash fest is is something to check out because it's it's a good atmosphere good energy yeah. uh, nice yeah it's right after rebellion <clears throat> that uh two years ago correct yeah yeah we did rebellion we've done rebellion a couple times now and we like to make little uk tours out of that because <laughs> i really like to travel and that, so that's yeah. <laughs> so we so when we can like travel and bring the band places like traveling plus music is like is such a perfect combination mm -hmm. you know so i think for us anyways, and at least with um, the general scope of, of our goals in the band, we want to be able to um, play and travel as much as we can. I mean, as yeah. financially and um, as much allowance as we have to take time off to go travel. Rebellion Fest is the best, the best, best in the world, I think, for punk rock. Oh, there's a lot. Because there's, it's, well, it's everything from all around the world, and it's the biggest. And There's a lot of other fests though that I I really want to check out over Europe, and I know oh, yeah. eventually the ass wants to get over to Europe and check out some of those fests because though we, Mike and I have been going out and and doing the Rebellion holidays and the Sun Festival since 2000, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But we've yet to really we've done some fests, you know, out in Europe. I've not played them, but gone to them over the years, but we'd like to really kind of bring the band out there and, and check out some of the other ones because there's, there's so many now and yeah. we're, I'm just realizing it as we are doing more traveling with the band is just how many music and punk rock fests there are mm -hmm. over the globe. And it's like, Oh my God, you know, do you get great. You good and yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, and it's expensive. I mean, think about it. You have to fly across, you know, deal with not only us, and but people but get across. People. Yeah. yeah, there's six of us too. Yeah, we're like, so like we're, that, we're that band. Yeah. And do you have work. any do you have any tours coming up soon? Anything local um, or far? Not necessarily soon. Right now we're in the stages of planning and saving, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, but our our goal um and what we have in the works is um possibly going out to Australia and Indonesia later next year. Nice. But obviously, again, it's pricey, so we're gonna start. Um, we're gonna start trying to get you know raise some, some funds. Yeah, raise some funds to help out towards that because obviously none of us are. We're not. We're not this high demand band that's getting everything mm -hmm. paid for. We we're pretty much dishing it out of our own pockets and calling it vacation. Yeah, <laughs> and going out and playing. So where can where can listeners find your music? I so can can buy it to go towards your funds of traveling. Yeah, well, Spotify, um, Bandcamp, obviously. Um, I think we're on YouTube. Apple Music. Yeah, YouTube at our shows. Okay. Yes. We have <laughs> we have vinyl CDs, uh, tapes. They just made a tape in Germany of yeah. us. Oh, really? Made, yeah, and they we, made they made a tape in <laughs> Indonesia. We, oh my gosh, that's so crazy! We had some cassettes made in Indonesia. A while back, uh, Mike and I went there for a stint without the band, but we made some really good friends there. They put out a tape, and then um, just recently, after our this just came in the mail. That is so. I haven't seen a cassette in a hot minute. I know. <laughs> like, I'll be. I'll be real. Yeah, it's pretty really cheesy, but it, it's cool. You know, it, it's awesome. That was thanks to that was thanks to uh, running uh, running out of uh, running out of tape records. That's mm -hmm. that's the Instagram. Okay. But yeah, anyhow. Um, yeah, that was really cool. That was something that just came after our East Coast Canada stint. So that was really cool to see. Um, I, I I don't know. You know why they if cassette they made, players you know, are coming back? You know why they made? Yeah, I don't they think made, they are. You know why? <laughs> I know, you might right? be collecting dust on your shelf. <laughs> so so so, do you remember how old you are when you listen to tapes? Yeah, I was. How old were you? 
very, very, very young because they didn't have CD players when I was listening to well, tapes. Well, oh. <laughs> we used to rent them from the library. Michael Jackson right. it on a cassette. Well, hey, when you listen to this, it'll make you feel that young again. I love it. I don't yeah. know if I want to feel that old, Mikey. Um, but I only have a few more minutes here with you. Young and full of life. We're young and, young full, and full of life. Young and full of life. Digital, digital, digital. That's why um, I like you both. Uh, I only have a few more minutes. I do have one more music video I wanted to play. Um, mm -hmm. It's really great. It's called Street Creeps on here. Mm -hmm. So hang tight. Let me play the video and we'll come back and do a quick talk about it and wrap it up. So this is Badasses Street Creeps. Ah! Someone please change my drawers before I puke. Get out of here. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, any plans for new music dropping soon? Yeah, we're, uh, we've are we actually got quite a few new songs. And uh, we've got some that we just started uh, bringing out to shows. And then we've got some that are right on the cusp. And then we're hoping to get some more recordings done uh, within the next few months. So we can yes. actually start releasing the new stuff. Yeah, we're going to make... Uh a new LP, so probably 13, 14 songs, and it's it's going to be good. I'm really can't wait. about it, yeah. I cannot wait, um, and definitely when you drop the new album, I'll definitely have you back in um, on here so that we can also blast it because you two are fun, you're fabulous, mm -hmm. and I just really, really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support you've shown me too throughout the years. We love you. Really we love, love you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're you're a big part of badass girl. Mm -hmm. You are a badass. You've been a part of our lives I'm for a cat. Meow, long time. Meow, meow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for coming on to the Marissa Pitt Show. This is Mikey and Helen Farber, the lead singers of Badass SoCal punk rock band out of Riverside, California. Find them on Spotify, Apple. Follow them on Instagram, the Facebook right follow like and if you love what you are listening today please 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 love like and subscribe for the marissa pitt show 
and we will keep it rolling. So thank you so very much. I appreciate it, you two. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bits Bye. of pits. Bye. <laughs> Bye. What's the pits? It's the pits. It's the pits. Right. It's pits. It's pits. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for having me.